All right. We are back in Junon. We are going to destroy this pupper. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is going to have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? <laughs> Finish it. I Going can help your turn now. Huh? You've never asked. <laughs> 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 is filled with tons of these cute little musical bits. Big fan. It's on you. Go on. Go on. myself I'd be different I'd never keep my little girl from flying I don't want to clip her wings I wanted to soar <laughs> I hear you scoffing you think I can't do it you think I'll keep her all to myself oh yeah and that's what scares me as much as I want to let her fly I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes maybe I'll panic get in the way hold her down all to keep her safe oh Marlene I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Keep it together. If you insist. Come on now. Right. How you like this? Got you now. Just you up. With the power of his prop, I'm unstoppable. You're going to get hurt! Got you right where I want you! Get right! How do you like this? Get lost! 
Stephen. Stephen needs to let's do the follow-up. Red needs <clears throat> hit an enemy's weakness. So it needs to be against an ice weakness. Shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey! the good music. Disappointing. 
Keep it together. Okay, Let's do this. Come on. With you. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Still here. Gotcha. Here it comes. Best do it right. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Oh, the XP. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny Man, are you mid are protest. something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. 
What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing out flyers and posting signs is getting old quick. Well, better get used to it. Where's the best spot to put up a poster, you think? La, la, la. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. I'm a rambling guest. You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. What? The name's Neil. And I'm going to be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Interesting.
Dang, you got me. can count on one hand the time <gasps> an upbeat melody i knew oh I knew. one of these days until then there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing we're gonna reclaim these waters and make them beautiful again she met dylan here didn't she maybe toby could be you or dylan the same dylan is making moves on you no way that guy's too big of a flirt for my taste maybe i'm just over missing you consider dating I take it you're new to the nest. Our latest newsletter's looking pretty good. Clear skies. on the Cape dates back to the Old Republic. Man, if those walls could talk. Speaking of, didn't we send people out there to watch the bandits or something? Cloud, I have news for... Thanks to the monster data, you I kindly invite you to give it a try. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Who am I? <laughs> Fine. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion. I've scaled mountains. Brain. As I communed with nature, I received... And now I... Sh Are you prepared? Then come.
Oh. I think I just win. I literally do this. This is the most cards I'm ever going to have out at one time. Do I get something for having 30 points? <laughs> Beavis. Silly card game. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? Is there some eldritch being encapsulated in this card game? They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. Well, that escalated quickly. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Ledrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations <laughs> with us. What do you say? What?
five spots. You can't have it. Please me. Man. I know. I see. Huh. I don't know how I beat that. At least now with that start. Stop. Stop. Hedgehog pie. And hog pie. When destroyed. God damn. Do my best to encroach. Why is this person way tougher than the frickin' air quotes boss?
I got nothing. Alright. Um I can get this dragon right there. Nope, I cannot. Alright, alright. Getting somewhere.
16 to 11. Come on. Ah. What is the secret? Man, come on. Probably not having Cactuar in the back. Try to win the lane really, really hard. Win or lose? Let's spread the word. Huh? Artist frickin' enemy in the game. Queen of cards? Sadly? Nah, it's this bitch. Oh, you can't play any more Mandragoras. Get out of here.
ridiculous. Why are you so hard? That was great. See what I'm talking? You, my friend, are now officially a people laugh, but I just the key to world peace isn't violent. Comrade, I'm counting on you. I'm gonna need you to shut up. I'll say too many words. Anyway. Onward. Welcome to the crow's nest. Pretty sweet, right? Farewell, fellow freedom fighter. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman dated share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. all the crystals in the Junon region. Thanks to you, Phoenix's flames will no doubt be that much more radiant. Me the, way, the way, little one. Violence isn't the answer. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but hitting up the wires Claire's really lucky. Talk about a love for you. I take it you're new to the nest. Join us, young lady. We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. 
We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight, make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. No problem. Nice! 
You've successfully completed all Junon combat assignments. Oh, is something the matter? Perhaps you're fatigued from your battles? Then allow me to provide a massage. And how do you plan to do that? Why, by way of resonance, of course. I can use my gorgeous vocal vibrations. Ahem. <clears throat> like? So. <laughs> All right, Mai. You've had your fun. Now then, your latest triumph has allowed me to create a new combat trial. I hope you enjoy it. Oh. I need to use a cushion. I didn't realize that it wasn't even at full health when I went into that. Hey, me. <laughs> it's still so cute the Chocobo takes a nap. Why do you have a coconut on your butt? Ah, whatever. Let's see. Oh, I still have Third Phenomenon, Abandoned Lighthouse, Edition Intel, and the Condor over there. Alright. Oh. I think I can do all that next time.